We are constantly offering fast weight loss plans, plans, and products. The truth of quick weight loss is it's often followed by even quicker weight gain because quick weight loss typically has two bad side effects, the specified calorie reduction slows down your metabolism and unless you're extremely overweight, a hundred or more pounds, once you lose quite two pounds per week a greater percentage of that weight over two pounds is the muscle and reduced muscle mass further slows down your metabolism. Additionally, quick weight loss often involves depriving your body of something it requires to run properly, like carbohydrates your body requires for energy, or requires you to require potentially dangerous unregulated products, like thermogenic fat burner pills. We regularly get asked about the simplest thanks to taking the load off so we designed the subsequent decision to provide a sensible, safe and sane way for normal people to consistently reduce without having to starve themselves or spend hours within the gym, basically, it's a program for real people, living within the world that gets real results. Having lost tons of weight on a particularly low calorie plan than having to find out to still reduce while eating nutritionally sound, as outlined in my book Diary of a Former Fat Man, I designed the program below to reduce while eating the proper amount of the proper things that allow your body to work at its peak all while eating enough so you never desire your starving. This program isn't a diet it's a sound nutritional program combined with the proper sort of exercise to securely and consistently reduce. In this program, you'll expect to lose 1 to 2 pounds every week consistently alongside a serious increase in energy. Counting on how you've got been eating and exercising it can take 7 to 10 days for your body to regulate to the present program, so if you've got been starving yourself in an effort to reduce do not be worried about the size moving up within the first week your body will suit this program and because it begins to maneuver to work at its peak efficiency the pounds will start to return off. Remember the amount of pounds lost is going to be suffering from your genetics and therefore the amount you're overweight also. Remember this is not a diet but a fitness plan comprising proper healthy nutrition and weight loss inducing exercise so it won't end in rapid weight loss but rather consistent weight loss. Once you determine this as your base plan you'll always reduce calories or carbohydrates within the short term to require off some pounds quickly but remember those quickly lost pounds come even as quickly. When you start this program note of your start weight and measure your arms, thigh, chest, waist, right above belly button, and abdominals, right below your belly button. Weigh yourself once every week and retake your measurements once a month to form sure you are making the proper sort of progress, you ought to see yourself getting smaller altogether the proper places. If you see your progress slowing or stopping review your diet to form sure you're neither eating an excessive amount of or insufficient by journaling everything you eat and the nutritional plan. The nutritional plan, I told you it wasn't a diet, here is straightforward, get all of your nutrition from the great sources, lean proteins, fish, chicken, and turkey, good carbohydrates, oats, fruit, and vegetables, healthy fats, nuts, and whole grains. Eliminate all bad sugars, bad carbohydrates, and overly processed foods that your body can't properly process. Eat every two to three hours and keep the portions in check, use the dimensions of your fist as a guide for the right portion size. As you progress on this plan you'll tweak the food you eat to support your individual needs as genetics may be a significant contributor to the success weave on any fitness plan. This program may be a 3, 2, 1 plan, comprised of three parts lean protein, two parts carbohydrates, and one part healthy fats. To work out what proportion of every part you would like simply take your required daily caloric intake and divide by 6 then apply the proper multiple. So if your required caloric intake is 1800 calories you'd want 300 of these calories from fat, 600 from carbohydrates, and 900 from lean protein. To figure out what percentage calories you would like each day take your goal weight and multiply it by 10 plus the hours of exercise you are doing every week. The subsequent is predicated on a goal weight of 200 pounds and performing 3 hours of exercise a week. 200x 10 plus 3 equals 2600 calories each day. I always wish to reduce that caloric intake by about 1 tenth each day to permit for missed calories, improperly counted calories, and general messing up we all do. If you miss a workout during the week you would like to scale back the calories by around 300 for the week. The subsequent example is predicated on someone with a target weight of 200 pounds who works out three times every week. 
Target weight 200 current weight x 10 plus hours of exercise per week equals 200 x 10 plus 3 equals 2600 calories each day 2600 breakdown 6 parts 1 1 portion of fat 433 calories 9 calories per gram equals 48 grams 2 parts carbohydrates 866 calories at 4 calories per gram equals 216 grams 3 parts protein equals 1300 calories at 4 calories per gram equals 325 grams an example of each day of eating on this plan would really like the following breakfast oatmeal with cinnamon 1 half cup calories 150 carbohydrates 27 grams protein 5 grams fat 3 grams egg whites 1 half cup with one piece low fat cheese calories 120 carbohydrates 2 grams protein 17 grams fat 4.5 grams breakfast total calories 270 carbohydrates 29 grams protein 22 grams fat 7.5 grams Snack 1, 2 to 3 hours later. Protein shake will vary selectively, this is often supported optimum nutrition delicious strawberry gold standard 100% whey, which is one among my favorites, 1 scoop calories 110, carbohydrates 2 grams, protein 24 grams, fat 1 gram large apple calories 116, carbohydrates 31 grams, protein 0.5 grams, fat 0.5 grams snack total, calories 226, carbohydrates 33 grams, protein 24.5 grams, fat 1.5 grams total thus far calories 496, carbohydrates 62 grams, protein 46.5 grams, fat 9 grams. Lunch 2 to 3 hours later. Turkey wrap 1 medium whole wheat wrap, 130 calories, carbohydrates 25 grams, protein 4 grams, fat 2 grams, 4 ounces turkey, 120 calories, carbohydrates 0 grams, protein 26 grams, fat 2 grams, 1 piece low fat cheese, calories 60, carbohydrates 0 grams, protein 5 grams, fat 4.5 grams, total for wrap, calories 310, carbohydrates 25 grams, Grams, protein 35 grams, fat 8.5 grams, banana calories 121, carbohydrates 31 grams, protein 1.5 grams, fat 0.5 grams, lunch total, calories 431, carbohydrates 56 grams, protein 36.5 grams, fat 9 grams total thus far, calories 927, carbohydrates 118 grams, protein 83, fat 18 grams. Snack 2, this should be your pre-workout meal. Almonds, 2 ounces, calories 320, carbohydrates 12 grams, protein 12 grams, fat 28 grams, banana calories 121, carbohydrates 31 grams, protein 1.5 grams, fat 0.5 grams, protein shake, same as snack 1, calories 110, carbohydrates 2 grams, protein 24 grams, fat 1 gram, snack 2 totals calories 551, carbohydrates 45 grams, protein 37.5 grams, fat 29.5 grams total thus far, calories 1478, carbohydrates 163, protein 120.5, fat 47.5 grams. Post-workout shake. Protein shake 2 scoops, calories 220, carbohydrates 4 grams, protein 48 grams, fat 2 grams total thus far, calories 1690, carbohydrates 167, protein 168.5 grams, fat 49.5 grams. Dinner. 6 ounces pigeon breast, skinless, calories 284, carbohydrates 0 grams, protein 53.4 grams, fat 6.2 grams, romaine lettuce salad with fat free Italian dressing, calories 23, carbohydrates 4.6 grams, protein 0.5 grams, fat 0 grams, sweet potato, 1 large, calories 162, carbohydrates 37 grams, protein 3.5 grams, fat 0.5 grams, dinner group 469 grams 41.6 carbs protein 57.4 fat 6.7 grams total thus far calories 2159 carbohydrates 208.6 protein 225.9 fat 56.2 
Snack 3, 2 hours after dinner. Protein shake, same as snack 1, calories 110, carbohydrates 2 grams, protein 24 grams, fat 1 gram total thus far, calories 2269, carbohydrates 210.6 grams, protein 249.5 grams, fat 57.2 grams right before bed. Casein shake, calories 120, carbohydrates 3 grams, protein 24 grams, fat 1 gram daily total, calories 2389, carbohydrates 213.6 grams, protein 273.5 grams, fat 58.2 grams daily goal calories 2600, carbohydrates 216 grams, protein 325 grams, fat 48 grams difference from goal Goals, calories 211, carbohydrates minus 2.4 grams, protein minus 51.5, fat plus 10.2 grams. Remember it can take an honest 7 to 10 days for your body to regulate the present nutrition plan so avoid the size because if you've got been eating poorly your body will need time to urge won't to eating properly therefore the scale may move up initially. You ought to expect to lose between 1 to 2 pounds every week on this plan as long as you retain your workouts up. If you skip a workout you'll get to cut around 350 calories out of your weekly total. Once you stop seeing progress from week to week you'll get to further reduce the calories, start with a tenth reduction, lowering mainly the carbohydrates and fat. Workouts The workouts here are built around fat loss and toning up not muscle building and bulking up. The truth is that the only times you'll reduce and build muscle is that if you're fresh to understanding, if you're a genetic freak or if you're on steroids, so your workout has got to be properly planned around either reducing your body fat or increasing your muscle mass, and this one is concentrated on reducing your body fat. We also designed these workouts, as we do all our workouts, for normal people with real lives therefore the workouts shouldn't take quite half hour and won't leave you unable to steer subsequent day. These workouts are energy booster not energy depleters so you'll feel better for doing them not exhausted for days after them. The workout plan is as follows. 3 days of circuit based weight training 3 days of cardio 2 days of HIIT and 1 day of moderate paced cardio as you reach to make the subsequent changes week 4 add each day of HIIT and add a circuit week 8 add another day of HIIT and add another circuit week 12 change the program for a month then you'll return to the present program circuit workout 1 thrusters hold a dumbbell in each hand at your ears together with your elbow bent bend down into a squat and thrust yourself quickly copy pressing the dumbbells over your head go back to the starting position and repeat 2 intensify bicep curls using a little step 12 to 16 inches intensify and curl dumbbells as you bring your second foot onto the step step backtrack and alternate foot your step with first 3 mountain climbers from a push up position bring your right knee to your chest then return to the push push-up position and do an equivalent together with your left knee, 4 body weight squats 5 push-ups, if you cannot do a moment of normal push-ups do weight assisted push-ups by resting on your knees, 6 single arm dumbbell or kettlebell swing, start with a dumbbell or kettlebell at your waist, bend at knees and hips and swing the load between your legs, keep your arms straight as you thrust your hips and swing the load to shoulder level and return to a standing position, at the 30 second mark switch hands, 7 bent over dumbbell row 8 dumbbell lunge and rotation, hold a dumbbell horizontally between your arms right under your chin, break through together with your, along with your, greater than together with your right foot and as you progress into a lunge rotate your torso to the proper return to a standing position and do an equivalent with your left leg, 9, dips. Aim to try to to a moment of every exercise one right after the opposite until you complete all 9 once, then rest for 2 minutes and repeat the circuit 2 more times. If you cannot do a full minute rest as required and continue until the minute is up in advance. This is often a really challenging circuit workout so do not feel bad about wanting to work out to a full minute of every exercise do your best and constantly challenge yourself every workout or you'll be knocking out a full minute in no time. Cardio Start doing all of your cardio on the times you do not do weight training so your body has the maximum amount of rest time as possible. For two days do high intensity interval training HIIT, and at some point, every week does moderate pace cardio. For the HIIT do a 5 minute warm up then alternate between 1 minute of all out effort and 1 minute of low pace rest for 10 minutes then finish with a 5 minute moderate pace calm down. 
On a moderate day do 30 to 45 minutes of moderate paced cardio, hard enough that you simply are breathing heavy but still ready to keep it up a conversation. Remember smart weight loss is that the results of proper nutrition and consistent exercise over time, this sort of weight stay off and this is often an idea that you simply can survive. Persist with it and you'll feel the higher than you ever have as you still get leaner and lighter.